Climate Now, in collaboration with Copernicus. Hello and welcome to Climate Now, our unique monthly update on what's really happening to our planet. Coming up, invasive ants are thriving as temperatures are rising. In general, it's getting warmer and warmer every year, which allows the establishment of species that would have been unimaginable 20 years ago. First, let's check the latest data from the Copernicus Climate Change Service. And globally, we just had the joint second warmest month of May on record. Temperatures were 0.4 degrees Celsius above the 1991 to 2020 average. Let's look at some of the main features of the map of temperature anomalies for May. European temperatures were generally around average for the month. Italy and the Balkans in blue were cooler. They suffered those devastating and deadly floods last month. Then across the Atlantic, it was much warmer in Canada and the northern US. And we see warming over the Pacific where the El Nino pattern of warmer water is returning to that area of the ocean. Now, tying in with that, if we look at ice-free regions of the ocean, then May 2023 was a record breaker with the warmest sea surface temperature for May since satellite measurements began. Bear in mind that 90% of the excess heat in our atmosphere because of global warming is absorbed by the ocean. And now to our report. And this month we're investigating how invasive ant species from the Mediterranean are now able to survive further north as winters in Europe become milder and long frosts become rarer. There are new colonies across Western Europe, including the French city of Lyon. This centre for arts and culture on a former industrial site seems an unlikely spot for ant hunting. But they're here, and these two scientists have been asked by local authorities to find them. Let's try to find these ants. There are ants all over the place. Soon enough, we uncover a species of ant called Tapinoma magnum around these imported trees. Ecology student Neo Buenon says exotic plants are one of the main ways that invasive ants reach new cities. We're looking at one of the main causes of the expansion of Tapinoma magnum, which is that we export these trees that have queens, plenty of queens. And once they've arrived somewhere else, the queens are fine. They're established and they disperse their workers everywhere. There you go. The ant hunt continues inside, where we meet a manga artist who witnessed an infestation of ants this winter. The ants, they started coming under here, under the sink, and worked their way up to our workshop. The ants that Lois recorded on his phone were probably looking for sources of food and heat. There were thousands of them like that, going along, and sometimes I had them on me when I was working on the ground. Tapinoma magnum is native to the Mediterranean basin and has now colonized urban areas in France, Belgium, Germany and the Netherlands. It doesn't cause painful stings, but it is a nuisance for local people. And it will wipe out indigenous ant populations. This park is one of five sites in Lyon where Tapinoma magnum has taken over. Scientist Bernard Kaufmann says Europe should prepare for more invasive species as the planet warms. We have between 100 and 200 species of ants that globalization has already brought with it from all over the world. And climate change will, of course, accelerate this process and encourage the establishment of increasingly thermophilic species, meaning they like the heat, even in our more temperate climates. I know what you're thinking. Can we get rid of the ants? Well, Chemical treatments can be effective on a smaller scale, but the best approach is prevention, making sure that imported plants and trees haven't been colonised by invasive ants. You can read more about it on euronews.com slash climate now, and I'll see you next time. Climate Now, in collaboration with Copernicus.